Good job, Angry Birds. That's enough training for today. I am a bit concerned about your definition of training, Red. Oh, you mean that snowball fight? Yeah, I admit, that was a bit... unorthodox. I made that exercise so you guys can improve your accuracy. Remember when you guys launched a full-on assault against Silver at the last minute? Okay, that was possible because the blues glued me to the ground with super glue. Hey, it's just a prank, bro. You know, I could have finished Silver by myself, but I decided to let you guys in on the action. I mean, with my super fast reflexes, I could have finished the battle quick. <laughs> Terrence said that the reason for your reflexes is because you watch anime. Okay, first of all, I wasn't watching anime. I was just watching the anime's fighting styles. Sure, Terrence. Rat somebody out for pursuing his anime dreams. All right, all right. We're all great. Although, I can't say the same about Red. You were the first one to get taken out. Excuse me! Here's the deal, gamers. Red just went soft on us. That's why he's out. Hey, cut Red some slack. His weakness is that he doesn't have a superpower. <laughs> this was for all of us to do better in combat. Yeah, uh-huh. You also could have done better on your first date. All right, Stella, I get it! You don't have to be mean about it. Commence the MLG air horn, scrubs, because the king has arrived. Uh, uh, your highness, can you please hold the door open for us? Nope, too much work. Uh, oh, my self-esteem! Hey, have your magnets gathered the troops yet? Oh yeah, we did. They're building as we speak. Get it off it, get it off it! Oh, this is so boring. Why do you so much work? Corporal, would you please call their attention? Yes, your highness. Take this, no, take this, take this. Knock it off, you animals! You're in the presence of the king for crying out loud. Boom! Oh, get those cooties off of me! Hi, your highness! What are you doing here? Oh, let's just say you all have a purpose in the royal king's eyes. A chance to redeem yourself from your foul lives. I am in the need of a specific pig to appropriate my recent plan to exterminate the Angry Birds once and for all. My plan starts out by annihilating the leader who is known for not having a superpower. And by doing so, leaving his superpowered friends vulnerable without a leader. We'd clearly get our sweet victory! Since when did the king sound so smart? He's not smart, you dingus! I made that speech for him! Although he didn't make that plan by himself. Which one of you pigs wants to take on Red personally? I will. <laughs> oh no, it's <laughs> you! Why would I pick anyone with the likes of you? Let's just say... The Red One owes me. And after what he has done to my family and friends, I think it is only fair that I... How you say... Paid him a little visit. Um... It don't bite. Yes, it don't get... You're hired! Bite, bite, bite! Oh, oh! We got a rip of a situation out there! Silver, get a bird's eye view of what's going on! Bird's eye view! <laughs> Hi. Oh, for real? Yikes! This doesn't look good! It's the biggest kick we've ever seen! <sighs> the king's finally going all out. Alright, birds, listen up! It looks very bad, but this is what we've been training for, so we can't risk anyone getting hurt. Kids, you look after the eggs while we take care of that wave. It's time to get- Oh, 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 not so fast, mate. Uh, seriously. Guys, this is no time for jokes! Oh, well, we're not joking. Yet. Mate, you said it yourself. We can't risk anyone getting hurt. This also includes you. Guys, worry about yourselves. I'm fine. Would you seriously call not having a superpower fine? How about we don't? Yo, how about this? You look after the eggs, but well, we take care of that way. Somebody has to lead you guys into battle. Oh, pick me! This job is born for me! No, we don't want I'm another accident around here, job. Get out of here! I'll do it. I'm gonna show those boys a thing or two. What about Stella? Yeah! She's perfect for this job! It's risky, but it's her best bet. Stella, you got this, girl. You're the best, Red. It's time to get angry. Matilda? Yes, Jay? Stella's voice. Is that what puberty sounds like? I'll explain to you on the way. The only time I'll ever get a soup power is when pigs fly. <laughs> I got the eggs! Now what? Dang it! How am I supposed to compete with that? My eagle? <sighs> this new threat is nothing like we've ever seen before. It's time. You don't mean! Oh, I mean, humbly accept your new superpower. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy, what's it gonna be? 
Okay. I'm sharing with you my mighty feathers, my wind gusts, and my super flight. Ah,、uh, awesome! How do I activate my superpower? By leaving the nest. I have to figure out how to use this power, otherwise I end up in <laughs> fan fiction. I have better looking hair than that. Well, I can't end up like this. Not yet. I have to go to the sky. <laughs> Is that red? Hey, Doctor Maggots. <laughs> Is that a new power? We can simply penetrate them in the air. We're getting the balloonies. I never learned how to read. <laughs> No, not the hair. <laughs> hey, stop, Brad. You power. I know. Huh? You're all done, kid. What the hell is that? Ah! 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 
impressive. But can they handle this? Ouch! Oh. Oh. No, no, you don't. I'm out of here. I'll go easy on you to avoid fatal injuries. Good. Hey, what are you? Locked and loaded. Oh, oh man, oh. focus. Oh. He's making me do this against my will. Come on. Huh. Huh. We got him. Oh, well, the pranks that you pulled. Oh, ow. Ah. Terrence, what did I ever do to you? Oh. Ah. Game over, man. That was a good workout, but I do have a few minor complaints. Matilda, why didn't you use your egg, Bomb? I can't even say the same thing about your explosives. And Chuck, why aren't you fast enough? Because your stupid power is making it hard for us. You always think we get to your level. It's really obvious that you're more powerful than us. You always like to show off all the time. Always thinking that everything's about you. Like, legit. You don't have to boss us around and tell us what to do all the time. I'm not telling you guys what to do at all. I'm just preparing you guys for the threat that's about to go on. And if that means you all will be my punching bags from now on, then fine by me. Red, you changed. The superpower of yours is turning you into a monster. I don't even know you anymore. Look, guys, what Red is trying to say is that he tries to prepare us as any means possible. It's not even about that anymore, Matilda. It's always about red, red, and everything else is about red. Why do we always do what you suggest, red? Why not let others call the shots like Hall or Bubbles or me? Why not me, huh? What makes me so different? Because you're a teenager! <gasps> Everyone else in this room has experience. Well, you still have a long ways to go. Even if I give you the simplest instructions, you'll always suggest to do something else. In fact, the exact opposite of it. And you know what else, Stella? Even the blues make better leaders than you, because you're stuck up. Not a, not a good roast, Red. Stella! I'm sure Red didn't mean any of that. Yeah, man, it's all true. Red, you apologize to this little girl right now. She has a future. She has very fragile feelings. Girl, I apologize for Red's actions. Sometimes he just drinks too much caffeine. You know what, Red? I'm not your little girl anymore. I think it's better for all of us if you take a break from the Angry Birds. Oh, well, well, Maddie, what's going on? Red always treated me like I was a spoiled brat. In fact, he always treats you guys like spoiled brats. Uh. Oh, you know what I mean. The point is, Red has always underestimated us, and sometimes... He's just a big bully. Then why didn't you say anything earlier, Stella? This is why, Red. You get mad. But is it worth giving up our one and only leader, um, how? Uh-oh, uh, right. Yo, we'll train, just like you said. I may be big and brawn, but that don't mean I got no feelings. Yes, you're adding bad omen to the atmosphere. If it's best for you guys, then I'm happy to oblige in Stella's decision. Uh, just don't listen to him, Stella. Because no matter what happens... You're still my best friend! Whoop! Just you wait, Red. I'll be a better leader than you'll ever be! I know you're trying to cheer me up, Terrence. Don't even try. Okay, I'm coming down. No, I didn't mean to yell at Stella. And I didn't mean what I said either. Of course I know that the others have limits. I just thought that since I now have a power, I thought they'd be as good as I am. Yeah, you're right. I just got my quirk, so I didn't know. Since I wanted to fit in with the others and their superpowers by acting tough, maybe I went a little overboard. Okay, maybe a lot. I have to make it up to them somehow. What do you think I should do, Terrence? Am I not a good leader after all? Hey, watch the hair. Dominated your red menace. Huh? Ah, the birds are chasing you after the wrong pig. Ah, son of a! Betcha you didn't see that coming. <laughs> Get on, maggot. There he is. Get that egg. <laughs> hey, wait for me. <laughs> Jack is mine. Uh, I'm getting out of here. Get that out of here! <laughs> oh, don't even think about it! You missed! What? Oh, not again! <laughs> you got it! Get out of the way, get out of the way! No, I can't! Oh, <gasps> Looks like I'm gonna lose when pigs fly! You got a big mouth, Birdie! You're blocking my range! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so close. But this balloon doesn't pop. Hey, how did you get over here? Yee! Uh, this is getting repetitive. Then why don't you give up while you still can? Hi, how are you? How did he even get in here? Woo! I finally made it. Do you seriously think you could take me on with that? Oh, I completely forgot about something. So you know a red birdie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 okay. Just take it. My brain cells are dead at this point. Finally, it's all over. Ah! Hey, where'd he go? Hey, I wasn't finished yet. Yeah! This ends right now. Just answer me this. Who are you trying to prove that you are strong? Your courage and selflessness disgusts me and everyone else. Because this society is nothing but a bunch of wannabes. All leaders have four things in common. Their image, their fame and fortune, and dare I say, a desire to fit in. That description sounds a lot like you, doesn't it? I just can't understand why my fellow bad piggies could be defeated and molested by you figs. So-called angry birds. The other birds must follow you around out of pity. After all, they have low standards. Why I'm doing all this? To avenge my flopping family, of course! The weak, insignificant! Compared to the other birds, you're nothing but a pebble. And I'll show you why! Corporal, I'm about to end this man's whole career. <laughs> You might just receive that medal after all, Hambo! The world will thank me for this! Is this really how it ends? No. Not until the eggs are safe. Not until the pigs surrender. Hey, one more move and I'll destroy this egg! Not until the others are ready. And not until I can control my quirk. To be as good as everyone else? Gotcha, you mongrel! Hey, fish breath! Leave Fred alone, you twist! Bubble, stop those missiles! <laughs> that tickle! Ah. Thanks, bro. And I made a rice! Bro. Ah. So what's your next Oh, move? quit whining! All y'all, get him out of that mess! You got it, Zella. Minions! <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> These things suck. <laughs> You're right, that's what you said. Ooh, cold, how are you doing? Holy shrimp, Stella, you did it. Great job leading them, Stella. I really underestimated you. Like, don't give me no attitude this time, Felicia. So, who's in charge of taking back the other two eggs? Corporal, let me get up. It really hurts. My dignity, sire. It's ruined. So, I think we're done here. Get off of me, old man! Oi! What do you think you're calling Fight on? me one-on-one! -on -one. If you want your eggs so bad, then come and get- Would you want this pig to take advantage of your injuries? Maybe grip you from the inside out like the Zorgons back on my home planet? Alright, punk. You're on. I would be so hasty if I were you. Okay, whoa, whoa, wait a second! I wore not because of my crook, so I can only- Yeah, we've only got one shot. Yeah, and one shot only. Stella, can I trust you to lead the Angry Birds for me? But what if you get hurt? I'm freaking out, man! So that means you are really not capable of being a leader. If I were you, I would just completely ignore all the Angry Birds that are cheering you on. Because you don't believe that you are our last hope. Would you rather let me boss you around all the time? Or prove me wrong? Wink. It's time to get angry. Ugh, this is gonna go wrong hey, so fast! Hey, don't remind me! Ah! Ooh, that was close! It's time to get angry! Another birdie! Oh boy! Chuck, go! It's up time! Oh boy. The rest of you do whatever it takes to make sure Red gets that stick! <laughs> Oh, you'd be a fool if you think you could get past this. Oh no, it's gonna blow! No way, Red! Thanks, Bubbles! Nice! I needed that flash! 
Calm down. <laughs> Yoink. He's descending acceleratingly. Ha! <laughs> Very cool, Isaac. And I made of ice. <clears throat> Dang it! <clears throat> oh! Hey, why did you stop? Great! Now you can charge up your quirk again. No, it's fine. Bob, Paul, get up here! Um, oh, Stella, quit whining! Don't be this. fine. Remember that the other ones look up to you, not down. They believed in you since day one. You have taught them to be themselves and turned their flaws into their greatest strength. How could I, Mike? Thanks, Hal. No! Uh -huh. <laughs> I gave you this quip not just to pass down my torch, but to inspire those who want change. You said this society is filled with wannabes, right? This wannabe's gonna kick your tiny hide! Show them that I picked the right bird! I'm about to end this man's whole career! Dang, Red, you sure showed Thanks. me. Now, it's your turn. <gasps> Get the big one. I'll kill you! Turns! No one messes with my brother! Oh, you got your back, Red. Let me return the big one. What is it that you require? Die! No, you don't! Ugh. Here's the last thing. Where's your precious act now, huh? Hey, why can't I move? Uh, uh, just finish him up already! Level cleared, glitch. You'd be mocking yourself if you think you could mess with us like that. I feel so violated. Say the word, Red. We'll whip his ass and I'm butt back to where he came from. Oh, God! No, no, no. I just need to talk to him. What do you want? How's that for weak and insignificant? How did you win? You're... you're so weak on your own. You see, that's where you're wrong, Hambo. A leader doesn't have to be strong by himself, as long as he has his friends looking after him. Where's the camera, boy? Uh, 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 there you go. Oh, I fixed it. There you go. Dispose of him immediately. Also, if you're trying to sound noble just by taking me out from the face of the planet, that makes you a fake, doesn't it? I guess I misunderstood him. Fred believed in me after all. So Red, what are you ripping up over there? Oh, it's my latest invention. Rage Chili Chili. <laughs> Ow! You used some more chili peppers? Oh, no, no. I didn't use some of your chili peppers. I used all of them, huh? All right, Mike, that's it. Intervention! All that synthetic alloy is thrown him naughty for nothing. Am I the chat to you? All right, man, I'm in it. Cut it out! No quirks on the dinner table. We are animals, but we're not savages. After you taste this, you won't regret it. Um, oh, I'm having second thoughts already. I usually don't eat anything other than candy, but tonight I'm feeling generous. This doesn't have any space viruses, right? Big boys gotta eat. Mm. So, who's the unlucky soul that wants to try it first? Oh, I think the chef should I'll try, try it. it first. Woo. <sighs> oh, this is chilly, all right? This is hot. <laughs> Ah! It's alive! Is it water? Is it water? I need, I need to go by me! Isaac, freeze, freeze me! Ah! Oh, yeah! 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 Oh, yeah!
I really didn't mean to call you out for being a teenager. No, you just said that because you hated me. What? No! I thought you hated me! Well, do you? What are you, stupid? Of course I don't hate you. I acted like a brat because you always treated me like one. But that's not why you're here. How do you make it so easy, being a leader and all? Well, uh, it's hard to explain. Fred, come on, just tell me, please. All right, all right, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, think of it like this. Everybody needs someone to rely on. People want someone to show them the way where there is no way. Red, you're such a big cheese ball. But it's true! <laughs> a leader is basically the better version of anyone. Someone who's more confident, selfless, blah blah blah, I could go on. But a leader doesn't have to be all that. The most important thing about being a leader is... Well, look at the stars up there. Hal told me that each star is in a fixed position. And with other stars, they form beautiful galaxies. A leader should remember that everyone has a role to play, no matter what their flaws are. Because they could be outcasts, like me. Otherwise, the entire group falls Ugh, apart. That's a lot of pressure. I didn't realize being a leader is that stressful. I wouldn't worry about that now. You're still a kid. You're still figuring stuff out. Who knows? Someday you might not be a little, uh, girl, teen, little feminine anymore? Yo, Red, save a cheese ball. Now, let me give you advice. You should not be a broding, tough cookie anymore. No offense, but we don't expect a lot from you. You could be cool around us. After all, we all know what you're really like. <laughs> oh, really? What? You're a big softy. Well, a big softy? What are you? Oh, Stella, are you okay? Dude, you worry too much. But I get it. You're always looking out for us. So, confident, selfless, and dare I say... If you're flirting with me, Stella, it's not gonna work. I don't feel attraction after my last relationship. Oh, with Ruby, right? How was the infirmary for her? Well, for someone who stayed there for over three years, it's pretty boring. So long that when I told her I finally have a superpower, she doesn't remember me. Well, yes, as the old saying goes, reality is often disappointing. Isaac, get out of here! And she checked out immediately after I creeped her out. Get out of here! I guess both you and I had the trust no one stick. Me and Chuck. Chuck and I? Whatever. Didn't see our connection anymore. Don't worry, Red. I'm, I mean, we're here for you. Thanks, Stella. That really means a lot. You're right. You're not a little girl anymore. Sacre Another man down. All the more reason for me to assimilate the throne. And fast. <laughs> so I'm late, boss. Oh, it's about time you showed up. Let's talk about... Phase one.